Well guys, we're on a bit of a forage today and there's Avalon up there. We've already found two bullets, which we'll have a look at later. And hopefully we'll find something else. It would be nice to find some more. It's quite a frost this morning, not heavy frost. I mean, as soon as the sun come out, the frost is gone. But along here, we often find red cracking bleat. Not a very tasty bleat, but it's sort of, I would say it's a tofu with the bleat family. We'll pick up the flavours of other things you put in. Anyway, a little bit more later, there's Alfie the foraging hound and my wonderful lady up there. Well, it's the middle of October and there's a small patch of wild strawberries here. As you can see, wild strawberries we are collecting. We've got clotted cream indoors. In fact, there's even a primrose out as well. How bizarre this weather and the climate has been this year. Well, guys, it's very, very tiny. In fact, you can see how tiny it is before I put my finger beside it. It's a little cauliflower fungus and given a, a week or so, maybe a month, it might be ripe for harvesting. So that means, what this actually means was that stump there was once a Scots pine because it's a symbiotic species of the Scots pine. And there's a little tiny fungi down there somewhere. Yeah, you can see it just in the light. Not sure what that one is. It's known as a little brown job. Right guys, right guys, obscured by vegetation, but sometimes you just have to get off the beaten track to find what's kicking around. There we go. I'm just going to see if I can ident these in a minute. Well, I'm assuming these guys are ink caps. I shan't pick them because I drink alcohol and there's a toxin, I think, in ink caps that reacts badly with the alcohol and gives you an upset stomach but a nice find um, would have done some still shots but unfortunately I've got to delete some photographs off my SD card on my camera oh dear well right I'm not sure what these are I'm gonna have a little pick and a look but as I said earlier, I can't take any still shots as my SD card is now full, so... But, there we go. Well guys, look at all the cattail. Um, a bit too deep, I haven't got my wellies on today, but had I had my wellies on, probably gone and uh, got a bit of this. Makes good tinder, and actually very good for stuffing inside your gloves. You know, as uh, insulation. It's very, it's very good, it got very good insulative properties. It also makes a good tinder extender. And, as they are now, very nice to look at. Of course, if you go down there, there's something to eat. Right, and also proper reed. Um, now, I do believe there is, there is a substance from the sap you can get that tastes a bit like sugar, but I've got to look into that one. Sometimes I suffer from craft moments. And now a right pain. Well, there's some more fungi. It shows that this year hasn't been a total loss on the fungi front, though I'm not sure what these are. Um, could be a honey, no, not honey fungus, a, a tough shank, but who knows. Really, I should have uh, checked my SD card on my camera so that I could at least take some stills of these, but. Other than that, nice looking fungi. Right. Yeah, here we go guys, uh, a nice fine collection of some fungi. We've got some beliefs and wood mushrooms by the look of it. They're actually, when I go over the identity, these are just a brown birch belief. A um, little bit past it, more or less, but the thing is, and the thing I've picked up, even if the slugs have been at it, the slugs eat the decaying matter and all you've got to do is really peel off this spongy layer which will come away quite easily as you can see we don't need that so we can disregard it I hope my lady's getting this in camera and 
you're left with that piece that cooks up really well. Um, they're almost like slippery jacks, except for a slippery jack would have quite a glutinous layer. Now here we have a fine example of a, a mushroom. Um, Agaritus arvensis, I think. Um, now, the, the best way to you know, identify these is nice white stipe, a slight collar, mushroomy looking gills that don't break, and if you smell them, you get obviously the mushroom smell, but you get aniseed as well. It's almost like drinking wine. The best, the better, best ways of getting the smell is actually to crack them open like this and give them a good sniff. Uh, great for breakfast. In fact, if I'd have brought some uh, butter in a pan out with me, I'd have cooked these up straight away. But anyway, there we go. Just need cleaning up and popping in the frying pan. Unfortunately, I haven't found any um, parasol mushrooms today. So all you've got to do with these ones, with the bolites, is just to peel this layer off, and I'm going to do that now, so it can go and feed whatever's around here. Apart from Alfie. Yeah, I think Alfie's having a good old sniff of these. Anyway, that's it folks, and thank you to my lady, the camera woman today. Very nice. There we go. A bit... Yeah, this feels like a slippery jack, this one. Just needs washing off. Anyway guys, there we go. Right guys, here we have... Um Lactarius or milk caps and uh, what I would do is I've picked one and one's been knocked over and you can see why they're called milk caps in a second. But around this uh, tree here, looks like a hazel and it's quite nice. Um, conical cap and this sort of buff brown colour. Right, now, if I squeeze down here Right, here we are. You can see why they're called milk caps. Just break the gills a little. I'll go like that. And you can see all this milkiness oozing from the gills. Um, if I remember rightly, we taste a little bit. It can have quite a peppery, hot taste. It's not an edible species, but you know, it's not poisonous either, as far as I know. But Paul Nicol got us tasting some of this. There we go, guys. Uh, milk cap. Well, we've almost come to the end of our little fungi forage, or just little forage, and there's some nice ink caps around here, all past their best. Now, what you can do with ink caps is to actually pop them in a dish till they sort of disappear into nothing and leave their ink behind and use it to write with. 